This is a change out of uh, Tread Micro batteries to uh, EVO lithium ion, oops, sorry, EVL, lithium ion 500, 5000 milliamp hour batteries. Uh, I soldered a couple wires to the uh, old battery terminals. And I bought a battery holder through Amazon. You can buy five of them. I'll put all the information up later. So uh, to get the wires through and the battery, uh, I'm going to drill a little extra bigger hole. Right in about here. Greatest thing. Now I'm going to drill a couple holes, put a couple screws in, and then trim them off. There she is. So I just got a piece of aluminum cut to fit underneath. This one's these clips on the back side. And I'm gonna bend it and put a screw in here. Or a bolt. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so I've uh, cut a hole, I've cut a piece of aluminum, slid it in the slot and cut a hole here. I'm going to thread a screw through and a nut, trim it off, and then hopefully it won't hit my head when it's back. In order to take the screw in, I'm going to have to take the filters off and screw to tap the screw in. I tap the screw into the plastic so it sticks out the other side right here. So when you put the cover on, it's on, hopefully it goes in the hole. Now hopefully that doesn't hit my head. Here's the finished product. Take the nut off. Okay, we need to make the hole a little bit bigger. Battery. Pop the battery out. Battery back in. Doesn't hit your head. Streamline. The uh, new lithium batteries are working really well. Um, get about 12 hours of continuous operation, six hours a day for sure. Haven't gone much more, just uh, don't need to. Just get a rot rotation of charging. Uh, there's no heating issues at all in whether use or charging kind of worried about that with lithium-ion batteries part of the reason i put the aluminum cover on the bottom 
but uh, no signs of any problems and the reviews on Amazon are, re are really good. So I'm hoping they'll last a lot better than the Tread Micro batteries.